G'day everyone. In this video we'll be looking at the Juice Booster 2 from Juice Technology in Switzerland. Part review, part demo, we'll show you how we use the Juice Booster on some common Australian AC outlets and share what we love about this charger. For complete transparency we aren't sponsored by or affiliated with Juice in any way and we bought our Juice Booster through an Australian EV supplier at full retail price. So here's the Juice Booster in its case. Uh, everything about this product screams quality. The case is really durable, plastic handles, uh, plenty of space. Um, so here's some of the outlets we commonly use. So this is a 15 amp uh, single phase uh, plug. Uh, you'll find these in caravan parks uh, right across Australia. Uh, the next one here, this is a three phase 20 amp uh, plug, less common but you do see them. Um, and this is the padding still on um, on this one, just left this on to show you. Uh, that's how it comes packaged. And here's the, our primary plug which is the 32 amp three phase plug. Um, you'll, you'll see these again right around Australia. We're doing our testing today at the electric car charging zone down at Charles Darwin University. This is a really great uh, facility, we make use of it often and we're testing here today because they've got a couple of the plugs that we want to try. This is a solar PV uh, charging facility, there's a decommissioned DC charger so it's all AC. So this is uh, the primary plug we use, this is a 32 amp 3 phase Australian plug, 5 pin. And this is a 15 amp single phase plug, uh, you'll notice the larger earth pin at the bottom there. These are really uh, a bread and butter overnight charging plug you'll find at caravan parks all across the country. So here's the juice booster laid out on the ground. You probably can't tell from the video, but it's got really high quality cable, uh, solid metal body, and it's about five meters in length. And if I can get the cap off here, uh, here's the type two um, connector. I think this is uh, same as in Europe, but the Australian Teslas have got the type two on them. So here we'll just change from the uh, 32 amp three phase head over to the uh, 15 amp. So just um, slide the release mechanism on the juice connector. Just pop the end cap on here and we'll swap over to the 15 amp plug. So there's a couple of markings here. Just align those and push in. You'll hear a click and then that's secured and that's a, a water tight connection. So simple as that. We're ready to plug in and start charging the car. So here we are, this is our 15 amp um, plug. And we just um, plug in there. These are threaded uh, threaded plugs, so you screw your, uh, screw your plug in to hold it in there. And turn on, and we'll just have a look at then the um, activation and lights on the uh, juice booster. You can see all of the LEDs light up first. Uh, auto detection, so that's picked up 13 amps, which is probably right. And uh, the car's now ready to charge. We'll plug our Type 2 connection into the uh, back of the Model X here and uh, green for charging and then on the juice booster you'll also have uh, LED uh, lights in sequence showing that the car is charging and looking inside the car now you can see no manual settings required uh, the cars picked that up from the juice booster and we're seeing 13 amps there and we're charging so look, these 13, 15 amp chargers, you don't want to be relying on them all the time, but they're good for an overnight charge or an emergency charge if you've got no other power source. Okay, so now we'll change over to 32 amp three phase charging. We'll show this in a bit more detail. You can see the uh, juice connector there and we've got an orange dot on both, uh, both sides. And all we need to do to connect these is align the two dots and um, just push these together again you'll hear a click and again that's a secure watertight connection and we're now ready to charge so here's our 32 amp three phase outlet it's a five pin with a keyway so the plug can only go in one way and again this is a threaded connection as well so it's a watertight watertight connection so we'll just uh, screw this on and uh, turn on the power and again you'll see all of the LEDs light up on the juice booster first up and then you can see the uh, 32 amp has been correctly detected. So again plugging into the Model X we'll wait to see the charge lights. There we go green means the car's charging. Uh, so here's a little tip you can probably see the protective cap there uh, blowing around a little bit 
Uh, sometimes when we're out charging in uh, open areas, the wind can really blow that around and it can bang against the car. So what we do is just loop that up and around itself and that stops it hitting against the car and blowing around too much. And on the juice booster we can see 32 amp indicated by the green LED and the sequence there shows charge being delivered to the car. And then inside the car, again no uh, adjustment had to be made. You can see charge current showing 24 amp which is 17 kilowatts, that's the maximum our car can take. Uh, and the car's charging, and this is a much faster charge. So this is kind of our main charge we use when we're traveling around the outback. So here's some dimensions on the case, uh, both metric and imperial. And um, here's some information directly from uh, Juice's website. Uh, you can just Google Juice Technology and you'll be able to find all of that. Um, and here's a summary of uh, the reasons that we really like the uh, Juice Booster 2. Uh, firstly, it's very durable. Uh, we've used ours a lot. We've banged it around in all sorts of places. And as you would have seen in the video, it's still in really good condition. Uh, it's very reliable. We've used it exclusively on probably nearly 5,000 kilometers worth of travel, and we've never had a problem. Um, the water resistant connections um, again just give a little bit of extra peace of mind uh, sometimes there will have been recent rain and there'll be puddles around and we do everything we can to um, uh, you know to be careful about that but it's also good knowing that those connections are water resistant the cable length at five meters again is really useful sometimes you can't park right next to where you need to charge so a bit of length in the cable is a good thing and lastly, and probably most important, is just the plug and charge aspect. Uh, to borrow from another technology company, it just works. Uh, you don't need to make adjustments in the car. You basically select the right um, connection with the interchangeable uh, plugs, uh, plug in, plug into the car, and away you go. It really is set and forget, uh, and it's the thing that we love most about this charger. Well, we hope you found that video useful, and thanks very much for watching and supporting this channel. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, if you subscribe already thanks very much and if you haven't yet please click on subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications. Until the next one, safe EV travels.